Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K40, the Poco F3 and the Mi 11X. Today's video is really, really exciting because we do have MIUI camera working on AOSP ROMs for this particular device. Although the functionality now is limited, but guess what? We at least have it available and sooner or later the bugs that are there will get fixed and we will have almost complete support, just like you have complete support of ANX on the K20 Pro. So in today's video, we're going to see how to install it, what is working and what is not working and what ROMs have I tried it on. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find the link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right. Now, ANX camera for the Mi 11X. A very, very interesting topic because whenever you use a custom ROM, the camera is one of the features which keeps you away from this. So the ANX team did mention that they won't be adding any support for newer devices because they don't have the phone and stuff like that. But some intelligent minds have managed to get these working and that is really, really good news. So if you actually want to, you know, have good camera quality on AOSP ROMs or custom ROMs, there is actually a Mi 11X photography group, global photography group. You have more than 3000 members over here, right? So in this particular group, if you go ahead and type in hashtag ANX, that is a note. There you go. So let's go ahead and send this. If you click, it does give you the install instructions, right? Download the MIUI core from here. Download the latest ANX full version modded R from here, right? So first you have to go here, open and download this particular Majisk module. This is the latest MIUI core, right? So the top one is what you have to download. And then you need to download the latest 190 or 195 R, whatever the latest version of ANX camera is. So go to downloads and over here, look for Noid full version modded for R. And the one we have is 190 R. So once you go to the Pling website, you have to go ahead and download the second one, not the light one, the one which is 424 megabytes go ahead and download that now for this you will need to have Majisk on your custom ROM right and the experience will vary between say MIUI vendor ROM or OSS vendor ROM so different ROMs the experience and the things that are working or not will be very very different all right so what we'll do is I'll quickly go ahead and remove these two and let me go ahead and show you how to install it right so over here let's go to download list view so first you have to install the miui core okay go back go here install from storage and select 190 r because if you install the camera first it will give you an error that miui core is missing so first you have to install the miui core all right now once that is done go ahead and reboot now, as I said, you have to be on a custom ROM. You need to have root access to get this to work. And so far, my experience with this particular ROM or a couple of other ROMs has been that the wide angle option is missing. You simply don't have the option of wide angle. For that, you'll still have to use Gcam and stuff like that. But it does work for, you know, clicking basic pictures and stuff. Another thing that I noticed is it does show in the preview that it will be clicking a portrait mode picture, but when you actually view it, it is not in portrait mode for the front camera. All right, so once you have rebooted, you do see that you have an ANX camera over here. So press and hold on it, go to app info, go to more and look for permissions. Make sure all the permissions are allowed and let's open ANX camera, right? So as you can see over here, the photo mode is working absolutely fine, right? The only thing is you don't have that, you know, wide angle option over here. Even if you go to video, you do have at least 1080p 60 and go ahead and record it. It focuses just fine in video mode. There you have it. And if you want to play it back, 
there you go so the video is working as well apart from this if you go to portrait mode let's see here right so the portrait mode for the back camera is working fine as well as you can see this keyboard has blurred out apart from this if you go to more you don't really have a ton of options in the more you have panorama time lapse and short video you don't really see slow motion as well so very very basic things are working but it is a start you can have miui camera because the quality is pretty decent i don't even see the 48 or 64 megapixel mode I can, I will be going ahead and trying a lot of things over here like the 48 megapixel fix and stuff like that to get it working. And if I have any updates, I will make an additional video. But for now, this was a quick step-by-step -step guide of having MIUI camera or ANX camera, at least the basic version working on any custom ROM. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.